My dear students, welcome to week five of our English language arts course. In the previous week, we have written our introduction and the body of our nonfiction narrative. Now, in this week, we are going to start by writing the ending of the nonfiction narrative and revising and evaluating our writing. Our word, word wall will include ending, conclusion, resolution, punctuation, revising, evaluating, and editing. We're going to start by watching a video about how to write a closing of a nonfiction narrative, and then you are going to uh, write your ending of your nonfiction narrative, and then we are going to revise our writing. I'm going to teach you how to revise and how to edit. You will have activities, further, pre further practice, and we are going to highlight the style of writing. As for day two, we are going to concentrate on adjectives. We're going to concentrate on coordinate and cumulative adjectives. On the BC, you will find that I have prepared a lot of resources, assessments, and activities that you can use to, uh, to be able to master adjectives and to use them correctly and properly in your writing. Now, on day three, we're going to start with a new uh, literature text, which is Tutors Teach Seniors. We're going to watch a video about um, tutors teaching seniors and what they benefit and what seniors benefit from these classes. We're going to read for concept vocabulary. We're going to concentrate on the words tutors, seniors, struggling, impairments, frustrated, and tone. We're going to have an activity and we are going to focus on the author's tone in texts. You will have further practice and you will have self-assessment regarding the tone and regarding the text. As for day four, we're going to start with working on grammar. We're going to concentrate on coordinating conjunctions and on simple and compound uh, sentences. You're going to differentiate between simple and compound sentences, and we are going to concentrate on fanboys. The word wall is going to be simple, compound, coordinating, conjunction, sentence, and main and clause. We will watch a video about simple and compound sentences, and we will have an interactive activity related to that. We're going to dig deep into uh, coordinating conjunctions, which, uh, which are fanboys, and we are going to connect that to the kind of sentence that we have. You will have further practice, and you will have a challenging question, which is going to be to make or to formulate a compound sentence by joining three sentences and a suitable uh, coordinate conjunction. You will have, of course, a self-assessment quiz. And at the end of this class, you're going to search and write 10 subordinate conjunctions on your notebook. As for day five of week five, we're going to concentrate on complex sentences and subordinate conjunctions. Our word wall words are going to be complex, subordinate, dependent, independent, and conjunction. We're going to start our uh, class by watching a video about complex sentences and doing an interactive activity about it. And then we are going to discuss subordinating conjunctions, which are I saw a wabop, okay, um, 
which include if, since, as, when, although, while, after, before, until, because, because and a lot more. Now, for the challenging questions, I would like you to write five complex sentences on your notebook. This is not mandatory. This is uh, optional. If you want or you want to uh, write more and challenge yourself through the challenging question. You will have, of course, a self-assessment and you will have a SAVAS activity that discusses um, dependent and independent clauses. Thank you very much for, for watching this video, uh, our week, uh, week number five uh, is going to be fun and engaging, bring your smile with you, your notebooks and your books, I'll see you on week five.